Hello everybody, I hope you're all doing very well and welcome back to another cryptocurrency technical analysis where in today's video I'm going to be covering this really great Fibonacci channel here on Bitcoin and then I will go over some of the Binance IEOs which have been performing very well to say the least over the last 48 hours. Um, so yeah. Hope that you thoroughly enjoyed this video and let's go straight into this. Um, yeah, this channel has really been over the last, this is over the last four days now this channel's been going on and it is very nice. Uh, so it's like a bigger picture kind of, um, pick a picture kind of uh, fib channel that we have going on okay uh, for the midterm okay so we clearly have our support to find and we clearly ha have our resistance to find then you can just see the touches of the mid the seven five and the two five have just been perfect if we're honest with it yeah so from the bottom to the top two five top then we come back down to the two five here and now we're hovering obviously around the midpoint so we're on the equilibrium of the range um so generally this could be a place if you're in the eq uh, obviously you can day trade off at this level or if you're at the eq then generally it's meaning that there's some stability um is that how you are? i pronounce this correctly stability uh moving swiftly on from this <laughs> um basically it, for me anyway i i like to trade altcoins when bitcoin is being stable okay because they do not uh, agree too well with bitcoin volatility and if we're hovering around the eq of the range then obviously that's a uh, prime time for trading alts um so all i will leave with, with saying on bitcoin is you know add this fib channel on and we're waiting still uh you know day trading the ranges and um waiting for the overall break and obviously you got the key resistance for 9440 key support 8800 really so you've got this about seven percent let's hope i don't embarrass myself yeah about this seven percent <laughs> range going on there which I, I would say is, is a big range. So um, that's a nice range to be trading in and, um, you know, just taking, you know, taking quick sculpts off of these uh, levels as they come on to play. Uh, but mainly, I would say, like, when you're hovering on the EQ, trade alts because <laughs> that's where the bigger big, bigger profits are to be made. Well, Bitcoin is in, like, a 1% a range, <laughs> or less than this, like, a real small range, then, you know, switch to some alts because, you know, Bitcoin moving sideways is good. Uh, Prime has to be the IEOs one in particular, uh, here you go. You can just see this like pretty simple to be honest. Um, you obviously, you know, pfft, how easy really, really, really to be honest from low to high, low to high, you come in a downward channel. So you are coming down in this downwards channel and you can just see what you get here a lower wick through the 6618 okay bought up okay and this was like a chance for you know because you're in a downtrend still at this point you could have at least taken a day trading long or well, this is what i done it started off as like a sculpt long sort of thing and uh, then it just went into a swing trade because you know you you get the reaction off of the 618 you hold a higher low you break the highs and then you just continue moving up like yeah, um, really, really not that difficult. And you can just see that, that that what's going on there. And then on this downward channel, you obviously break it, back test it, continue on for the higher highs and higher lows. I mean, this is really, really, really nice. We're talking about a few days for 22%, like really simple stuff, <laughs> uh, if we're honest, okay? Uh, obviously, the other big ones, obviously, you're looking at Matic again off of that golden pocket, holding the golden pocket, moving on again. Um, and seller, this is one that my group are trading a lot. So, um, you know, we're very happy with how seller's going on here. Obviously, it had that slight uh, descending triangle, broke out of it to the upside, and now we're going higher highs and higher lows, okay? Resistance still that 382, 224. Um, so, yeah, I'm really, really happy with how they're going. And uh, still, honestly, pleased with Bitcoin. Um, yeah, ending thoughts, still still absolutely very pleased with, m particularly altcoins. I do think altcoins have much more uh, opportunity. And, you know, Bitcoin moves sideways, alts are going to do well. And in my opinion, if Bitcoin actually moves down here and gets a retracement, then they're going to also do uh, well against their Bitcoin pair. Obviously, USD value down, but BTC value is still holding up well, in my opinion. So, um, you know, I've been trading this well. So, <laughs> think of that what you will. I think they will do well. Um, so, um, yeah, so, so I just want to say like today I've been so inactive and um, my nan actually broke her hip and her collarbone. So that was like, uh, yeah, been looking after her and um, yeah, it's just been a, a real crazy busy day. Um, so I've like missed out on a lot of trading today because for me, I would have loved to have day traded this, but I did miss out a lot because I was in the hospital, etc. So um, yeah, like for me, like the next few days, I'm not sure how it's going to go. Like I'm going to have to obviously look after her family first, everything. So um, yeah that's just a little bit of news <laughs> um and i will end with this tweet that i made i mean one tweet today and it was um uh, kind of like a joke you know don't take everything so serious like you know all i'm saying is that if you follow a trader that tells you to leave bitmex because i just saw so many posts about this over the last week it just blew my mind everybody hating on bitmex suddenly i literally have no idea well i do know um basically 
um, me included, you know, you get you get contacted by these exchanges that say we will give you like a 0.1 one Bitcoin if you 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 know you create an affiliate program, you shell out our referral links. We'll give you, we'll, you know, we'll pay you and you shield it out, etc., 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 etc. And all I'm saying is if somebody is telling you to leave BitMEX because of uh, order submissions, this was quite a funny gift, to be honest. <laughs> you know, if someone's telling you leave BitMEX because of order submission errors uh, or uh, overload it, then actually, um, you just have to be really careful of, of what their ulterior motive is. They're, they're probably shilling you an exchange which nobody has joined or nobody even on. Just like what I said here, it makes me laugh. Join our exchange, whatever it could be. Um, it doesn't get overloaded. Well, no, no, Sherlock. It's because it has three users and no one's ever heard of it. And um, I don't even know why I made this tweet. I, I just saw so many shills of people saying join this exchange. But really, they do not care if you join the exchange. They just want you to, well, they do want you to join with their referral link. And they just want to rake in referral links because think... Are they, if, if you are a successful, profitable trader, do you need to show referral links slash tip jars? I'll leave that for you to decide. I, you probably know my opinion. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I don't want to end on something negative. Let's end on something positive here. Um, what can I end on that's really positive? Um, well, I guess... Let's keep making money on Bitcoin. Bitcoin itself is a, is a gold mine at the moment. I will end on my few point. I will end on this because a lot of people have asked me my thoughts on Bitcoin Libra coin because this is a question that I've been asked so many times. So I will give my opinion on this that I personally think it's good for the space. And I made my opinion public and I and some people were like, Bitcoin, it, it's, it's centralized. Da, 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 da. OK, so this is this is my opinion on Libra, uh, Facebook coin. OK, whatever it is, like this uh, uh, stable coin. OK. Um, I do think it is good for the space of cryptocurrency. People start searching Libra coin. They see it's a form of cryptocurrency. They search cryptocurrency, you get Bitcoin. Bitcoin, in my opinion, still by a lot of people, uh, unfortunately, has negative associations. You know, it has a con an association uh, of, you know, drugs, etc. You know, they're just stupid things still, which maybe were like 20 years, you know, 10 years ago it had this. But, you know, now it's like moved away from this. And the more people that see that big institutions are using Bitcoin or, or cryptocurrency, I think slowly it's going to lose see these sort of connota these connotations of, of being associated with drugs, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, the dark web. And uh, people will actually see that, wow, real big companies are building on the blockchain. Um this is the future, you know, you start, you know, you start getting people. I had a lot of people that have never, ever traded Bitcoin start asking me about Libra coin. And, you know, you just suddenly got all these random people that have never had an interest in crypto before starting to get a little bit interested thinking, hmm, Facebook's making a cryptocurrency. I want to, why am I not invested in crypto? When they, when they see the stock market this year is, is break even and then they see the cryptocurrency is up over 100%. They're like, hmm, why am I not invested in this? They so they ring up their broker. Why have you not been uh, telling me to buy this? You know, etc. Um, so yeah, I personally think for, for it's like a really, uh, you know, just good for the space in general. I do not care about Libra coin personally. I will not use it, but I do think it's good for the space and, you know, the uh, recognition that it can bring to this. Um, so I am happy about it overall, if I'm honest. I do think it's only good. Um, but yeah, I, I understand people that, that hate it because it's centralized, etc. And it kind of goes against Bitcoin. I understand that. But, uh, you know, I still do think mid long term it's good for the space, I, you know, personally. And that's what I'm going to end with. Um, so I hope that you've enjoyed today's video. A bit of a different one, really. Um, but yeah, I've just been so, so busy today. I've like not really had time for trading and charting. So I have not too much updates because firstly, Bitcoin's just gone sideways. And secondly, yeah, I've been like around, out in a hospital, etc. So um, yeah, hope you've enjoyed this. Nevertheless, have a brilliant day. Honestly, I hope that you're very well. Um, and I will end with the words. Family is always the most important. Obviously, it really, really is. Um, so go over to them and say I love you, you know, just go over to them and say I love you, give them a hug and make their day, make them smile, um, so I hope you have a brilliant day, thank you everybody, and I'll see you in the next one, cheers, goodbye.